James, uh, President Macron has spoken again today about the Benalla affair. What did he have to say? Well, indeed, what we're seeing here at the Elysee Palace is that uh, the palace has decided uh, to move forward as far as communication is concerned, and that after several days of total silence. Now, indeed, Emmanuel Macron addressed the ministers during that cabinet meeting, and we were briefed about what was said. What Emmanuel Macron has basically said is that this is not a state affair in his eyes. He says uh, that, uh, indeed, uh, they're, uh, they're, they're, you know, inquiries are ongoing uh, and he also uh, gives some elements as to uh, what needs to be done now and that is a complete reorganization of uh, the security at the Elysee Palace and the way things are done and they he is promising that that will happen uh, in September. He's also attacking uh, the opposition, saying that basically all these parties that are part of the operation uh, decided to side against him in this specific instance. He says that's all politics. He says it is an individual mistake that was made by Mr. Benalla and that indeed he has already been sanctioned as far as the Elisa Palace is concerned. And now uh, there are many procedures that are ongoing uh, to tackle this affair. Now, uh, he also also uh, says uh, that uh, for the time being uh, it's uh, that there is uh, a necessity obviously uh, for things to calm down for parliamentary work to resume and uh, we were also briefed by one of his close co-workers uh, who told us that uh, in the uh, mind of Mr. Macron uh, there was deception on the 1st of May when he discovered his close collaborator actually uh, taking part in that police operation and that at that stage uh, it appeared that 15 days suspension was sufficient but then he said that the betrayal came in July and uh, he considered that the fact of uh, stealing or actually managing uh, to uh, procure these uh, video surveillance tapes uh, was indeed uh, even a, a bigger mistake than having taken part in what happened on the 1st of May and that indeed Mr. Banara was uh, being uh, sanctioned because of that. James, as I mentioned just before the report, uh, the opposition party, Les Républicains, has asked for Emmanuel Macron to address the French uh, people directly. Is he likely to do that, do you think? Well, according to what we've heard today at the, at the Elysee Palace, uh, for the moment he has not planned to do so. What uh, his aide and what Benjamin Grivon is pointing to uh, is basically that uh, there are opportunities for the president to speak up because he is uh, going to uh, the south of France uh, today in the Pyrenees and then he will be going to Spain and Portugal. There will be press conferences both in Spain and in Portugal. Uh, questions uh, will be probably be asked by reporters. This is what we're being told and it will be an opportunity for the president to decide to answer them or not. They say he is the master of the clocks and he decides when he wishes to speak out or not. That is what we're being told as far as speaking to the French people is concerned. As far as speaking uh, to the parliamentary commissions, uh, well, what uh, his collaborators here are pointing to is the fact that there is a strict separation in the French constitution uh, between executive, legislative and judiciary powers. And he, they say that uh, it can't be the same MPs who back uh, when there was a, a Congress in Versailles refused to attend, saying uh, that the executive branch was trying to impose on the legislative branch, sorry, uh, uh, decided not to attend, well, now cannot ask for the president to come into the parliament and answer their questions.